Hello, my little sugar plums and sugar daddies. And welcome. It's the final countdown. We're headed for Venus. What? Let's do it. What are you talking about? <laughs> welcome to Tharsis. Okay. Um, this is a game we heard about recently. And... Ooh, updates, updates, updates. Fixing issues um, with the thing. It's basically a virtual board game. Uh, since the direction of our channel, we're going to start playing more board games and stuff like that Yeah. Uh, soon. I figure this fits the theme. If you like games like Elder Sign, that's what this reminds me a lot of. Yeah. Uh, lots of dice rolling, and you're trying to get to Mars. There's disasters you have to overcome. I think we can just start and get sure, into sure. it. Sure, sure, let's do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've unlocked a couple of new characters, yeah. uh, but we're just gonna play with the main ones. Yeah. Don't worry about each of them have little abilities and start with different and amount of dice. We will make sure to explain all of them. The basic, these four at the top, these are your starting crew members. These are all the unlockables. Uh, we're gonna go through what everyone does when it becomes kind of necessary to. We don't want to get a, a big info dump on anyone. This game's a little bit complicated, so we want to make sure that you get a feel for the game, but we don't just sit there and go like, "Here's all the mechanics." All right. All right. We're playing on normal. We uh, have prepared for any disaster. Yes. For every disaster. Not all of them at once. It got gravitated. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I really want like mods of this game where everyone is a different person from Apollo 13 and they just Sandra Bullock. <laughs> All right, a cluster of micrometeoroids have crippled the Ikatomi and killed two crew. Jake Cross has been injected into space and Mapaya Musgrave suffered a fatal injury. Your new goal, survive. Okay, so so there's all each section of the ship hit ship info. All right, ship info. Each section of the ship uh, is a different module. Um, they each do different things based on the dice that you roll. Uh, harvesting food. Food gives you more dice in subsequent turns. In subsequent mm -hmm. turns, yeah. Uh, assists. There's bad stuff that can happen when you roll You'll dice. You'll see assists come yeah. up pretty quickly. Right now, currently, if you look at the top right corner, we have one assist and one food. We don't use the food now, and the assists come up when we have to get yeah, the dice rolling. We have rolling. 10 weeks to Mars. That's 10 turns. Mm -hmm. Up there, the upper left, right that's here. the ship health and then so there's no damage hit ship info again okay these are two things we have to deal with usually they'll have little red bars which would cause damage to the ship but these just do different things i have no idea what cis fail means oh some of them just kind of have like systems failure i think is actually when you try to go through different parts of the ship and they're highlighted uh, in red, okay. they do health damage to you. Okay, so we want to take care of the one that would take health off everybody yeah. since we're low on health. So we're going to go, we're going to send Kayla Jones in here because she has the most dice and she's already there. So yeah, so you she click on her. All these red, if you move through them, you take health damage. Yeah. So since she is already there, we're going to just click her and then click there and then, then redeploy. redeploy. Now, Ooh. complicated screen. We're going to go over this real quick for you, then we're going to get right onto what we want to do. Here is the character we've deployed. Once again, this is their class ability. If we put a dice that equals five or above here, then it'll give us one health, additional health. In the little tabs that look like folder tabs on the right, that's your health. Yeah, she currently has two. The green bar here is her stress. If it makes it appear, she's 100% stressed out. This has an effect later on in the game. Of course, if she runs out of health, she dies. Um, up here, the repair is how much Cumulatively, all the dice have to equal in order to repair this. You, when we roll the dice, we put them on that repair tab, and it minuses that. It is cumulative, so we could send multiple people in here to take care of the problem. Yeah. Stasis means that if we roll a one or a three, the dice is locked. We cannot re-roll them at all. Assists uh, prevent yeah, this assists from happening. Yeah, up there are going to prevent it from But only happening. once. Yeah, right now only once. Yes. And you can only hold the maximum of three assists. Yes. What you find out is that assists are great, but one roll tends to just wipe yeah. them all out, forget about They're it. good for the beginning of a turn. And these are all RNG. Yeah. Every event that happens and the number, there seems to be some sort of like, oh, more events will happen at once as you get farther along. Yeah. But what they are seems to be totally random. Sometimes yes, they you get are turns random. like this where no damage will be done to the ship, which is really the big thing. Yeah. 
sometimes you'll have four damage done to the ship and you're gonna get screwed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's just roll. And All right. As you well, see, I just want to go through the rest oh, of this oh, real the quick. bottom okay. left. Yeah. Here on the right side of your screen is always going to be what the module does, its particular service. So if we were to roll uh, any kind of doubles or triples of any one particular number, we could put them here. This is the number it has to be. This will give us one food and then this will give us an additional food. Uh, rolling obviously is to roll the dice. Uh, dice hold is if you want to hold any of them while you're re-rolling. So if you already have a six, you want to make sure you keep that six. You pop it here, you roll the rest of the dice. Research projects are special abilities that you can unlock. Basically, you can take dice here. It's the Yahtzee pool. Like, it's the Yahtzee pool, yeah. You roll any one. You, let's just go and when you you'll, pop it in, you'll, you'll see. see. Yeah. The priorities are going to shift depending on what's going on and what we roll. So, okay, so see... The assist helped stop that three from going to stasis, but the one is locked. We can't possibly rule it. Yeah, so... so what I'm going to do is probably drop it in the research project. Yeah, research is a good idea. There. And now, you get a little research point. You need two or three to do those abilities. Yes. So... Uh, and once you use an ability, it's quickly... Uh, uh, um... Let's let's quick patch the ship. All right. Do minus stress, whichever one you think is best. So there we go. That's there a good you go. one. And we used it, and you get a new ability that you mm -hmm. add up dice to get. And we've never run out of any abilities. Right. Like, like, we've never gone through all of them. Yeah. So I think we're going to send someone else in, the captain. Yeah, let's send, send the, the captain, captain in, in there. He Actually, as you see, for different characters, it's different health like, yeah. risk. So the captain still doesn't cost us anything. Yeah. Also, I do like that when you send multiple people in there, they do actually appear within the module. It's, yeah. It's a nice little touch. It's not necessary, but I like it nonetheless. Oh, great. There we go. 17. 17. Bangerang. That makes me happy. Now, you see we had no extra dice, but we finished this event. Exactly. And that so... makes things just easier. So we're going to send... Let's send the... The specialist is already there. Yeah, you want to take care of that? Want her? Well, because it, if I send the mechanic, the mechanic's going to get hurt okay. right off the bat. The void, if we roll a three, we're going to lose that die. Which... Luckily, it didn't happen, but it really, really sucks. Yeah, it does. It just automatically gets zapped away. It, and it... Uh, like uh, that! It um, really sucks. And now, for the next turn, she's going to have one less die. Yeah. And okay, so... that mechanic's not going to take any damage to move in there, so maybe just do it. Just, just do it. Hopefully, be... roll a four and not a three, four or higher. Not that's, four or higher. That's a it. one. Well, come on. Oh, okay. okay. <sighs> We've been playing this game a lot, and it can get really stressful once everything yeah. kind of gets going. Justin and his girlfriend have been playing this mostly. I don't know how many games they played. A dozen, you'd say. Probably. At least. At around least. Around a dozen. Haven't won a single one. Nah. And from what I've read, it. She's the one actually who unlocked the characters. Yeah, she's been unlocking the yeah. characters. But it's just mess. Okay, so this is where the stress comes into play. Mm -hmm. The higher the stress, you see how there's two groups of people right I'm now? just click this. Yeah, just click it. You have to pick a side project. There's a benefit and a negative. You have to pick one of them. Yes. The more stress there is, the more they split up, and there ends up being more side projects, which means you get one benefit but negatives to everyone else. And we'll see that as you go along. Yeah, um, I'm kind of tempted to go for this one at the moment. There, Depending on what you pick, because everything is kind of swingy, uh, a smart decision now could be a disastrous yeah. later on and see, vice yeah. versa. The problem is if we took the minus one health, the doctor would be at one health. If the doctor would be at one health, totally the captain screwed. would be lower. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, it's easier to fix the ship than it is to heal everybody. All right, pantry, blah, blah, blah. We one have some rations. All right. Food gives one person three dice. I'm going to go uh, probably the specialist. Okay, because she gets one extra reroll. Yeah, so uh, having her, typically what I like to do for anyone playing, uh, anyone who's been playing this for a while who doesn't agree with me, by all means tell us in the comments. I always like to have the specialist and the mechanic with as much food as possible because the mechanic can fix his ship as a special ability, and the specialist just gets that re-roll, which yeah. makes things easier. Okay, so now it's telling us, wonderfully, destruction is imminent because the three red bars, two from the power fail, one from the st whatever that is. Yeah, the, um, the done ship is broken with the broken pieces. Yeah, it's more than our ship health yeah. with the white bars. So there. I'm going to send Allison into here to deal with... Um, yeah, definitely a good idea. She has yeah. the most. Now, if we roll a five, we're totally boned. Okay, the oh, assist. Oh, we had the assist. We had one assist. 
Uh, we should have enough to take yeah, care of Yeah, you should probably just do it. Because RP yeah. wise, anything over three, you have less of a chance doing. Yeah. Now you can reroll. Maybe get your assists. Maybe get my assists. No, roll again. No, roll again. Because for the research project, essentially all dice are equal. Yeah. You can only put one in, so we can't put another three yeah. in, but it doesn't matter what we got. Yeah, the with. only time that ever becomes stressful is if you're look if you're trying to get the higher number one like the higher yeah. number of dice and so it's like oh i really need specifically a two yeah some of these cost six some of the research costs six oh and those like, ones are great I'm too i'm never gonna get that shit i've yet to see any ability in here that's useless like which so, is nice if you send one of the guys with three i'm gonna send the captain okay we and... will pro oh. That will The plus might... one die yeah well i want to save the mechanic for last because he could just straight repair the shit god damn I know. I gotta reroll. Re Please no fives. Well, I got the four, and I could drop one here, and then just drop another one here, yeah, and then send the next person. Sucked. I was really hoping three was gonna be enough. I know. send the no no. It's only a three. You should send the mechanic. I think because we could make food with the doctor. That's true. You know what? Yeah. God oh. damn it! Then oh. that happens to you. And you're like, fuck my life. It's all RNG. I don't even know if you should fix it. You're no, I want to fix it. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to have food, but that hey, damage Gary, you're is... You're the one. You got the clicker. Um, you know what? I think food is more important. Yeah, I'm going to go side of caution. Uh, let's get the food. Yeah, let's try and roll. Oh. I mean, it doesn't... No, we I got might as well try and get double. There we go. There we go. Lucky. That's one oh, set lucky. of doubles. If we get another, oh, we can't get another two. Well, you can throw that in. I can give her a health or do that. Uh, let's let's do that because that'll give three health to any crew member. She's not gonna. Well, yeah, it all depends on who. Oh, we're wait, wait. Plus one health for all crew. There Boom, we go. That's that's even better. There we go. Plus Perfect. One for all crew. Now all the health, all the little tabs went up. So great. Yeah. Okay. So unfortunately, we weren't able to finish that, even though our dice said. You know, we should have. Yeah, I mean, the no it is just very, very swingy. I mean, here, you've even watched me do it where it's like, oh, I had to do 27 on like five dice, and I did. Do it. Yeah, and it was like, just. Oh, I rolled all sixes. Right. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so our stress isn't that high, so they're still grouped into twos. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and honestly, as far as what I've seen, forget it. Stress is just. It just is, take the stress if that's your only downside. Yeah, versus it is. Versus taking other shit. It's, as I've played, it's just the thing that becomes the lowest priority. Oh, we got this. We got this. We're going to go for it. Don't, don't you worry. We're going to figure this, this is, out. It's never going to happen. Oh, what I just read, though, is it said that the higher the stress, the more likely for these bad dice roll things to be happening. Oh, really? Yeah, so that could affect it. Of course, our stress isn't necessarily that high, and we have so many bad things. Yeah. It's kind of bullshit. No, I know. You know, what are you gonna do? It's a difficult game overall. I mean, there's nothing yeah. you can really do about it. Okay. That's good. So... Do you want to hold one of them and try and roll... This is the first time I've used that, to get ship repair. Yeah. Because we could get two... Oh. Alright. Right. Oh, wait, wait. You're gonna one other dude's in there, right? So let's give him a die. Yes. Great. And then use that four for something. Yeah. Research, yeah. Okay, good. So at All least right. the mechanic has full dice now to go. Yeah, mechanic is going. And so I'm gonna send the specialist in here first. Okay, it looked like does it doesn't hurt her? No, 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 no. Great, no, no, no. great. Alright. Unfortunately you roll a one, you're gonna take two hits of health. Alright, didn't happen. So I got this, I got this. Should I throw the four in there or reroll? Um I th odds are you th throw it in, but it's your call. Fuck it. That brings it to a 12, which means that whatever I'm going to do is going to... Oh! Okay, the assist. Okay, it's good. So you can reroll it. I'm going to reroll it. We have one Please assist. Please don't get a one. Oh. Uh. Yeah, but that's easier to do with two dice. Yeah. And therefore... A 10 is at least possible. Yeah, so... I mean, 12 is possible, but still. All right, so, so that's... So not the mechanic. You shouldn't have to. That's going to hurt her, but she's got a little extra health. She could take it. Not to mention, if she can do this with two dice... Oh, ow. Two... Oh, God! And here's what happens. You do one bad roll... And... 
Dead. Forget about Dead. It. You get none of the dice. She dies. Now our chances of actually succeeding are nil. No, we. You can't. You no, 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 no. If I. No, because uh, you can only deploy him to one section. Yes, but if I roll high enough, you I can, can use his ability to get the one shit. Okay, here we go. All right, I need your love right now. Come, my little sugar plums and sugar daddies. Give us your synergy juice. Okay. All right. Okay, so you got the two fives. I got the two fives. Unfortunately, you do not have... You you need... But I might be able to get... You need a five. We're dead. We're... Shit. Okay. We're Is dead. there anything... No. I... No. no. All right. Uh, we might be dead. I... Yes. Yes, in fact, we're dead. It's one roll of the dice. Yeah. It's, and this is exactly what brutal. happens. I honestly have never seen a single person complete this game. No, neither have I. It is brutal. I like the game because it is a challenge, but yeah. there is a lot of chance involved. Because, I mean, you even yeah. saw it. Here's what I say. If you like tabletop games and dice rolling games are okay. Yeah. Like I said, Elder Sign again reminds me a lot of that. You want to hedge your bets as much as possible. Like, yes. oh, I only need two dice to do this? Well, I got a guy with all five dice. I'm going to send him in there because yeah, yeah. who knows? It's That's... the same thing. With Elder Sign, you, the dude with a million rerolls, it doesn't matter how many dice it says you need. Yeah. You get as many dice as you need for every yeah. si as you can for every event. Exactly. And it's the same thing with this. It's like, I mean, I've gone in... I've beaten a 27 one-on-one -on -one roll. Yep. I've also walked into a room where it's like, oh, I need a four, and I've got five dice. I got it in the bag. Roll. Oh, it's all injuries, and my character's just dead. Yeah, exactly. Um, just what happened. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's like, really is. It's a fantastic game. I, it's, I, we. Here's what I'd say. I don't know if it's for everyone. I hope that this video has helped you see yes. if it is for you. It's very difficult. It's good for people who like tabletop games like us and board games. Yeah, if you're true. looking for true. a video game with the video game kind of difficulty, yeah. it doesn't have that. It's difficult because of the RNG. Yes. And I... That's okay. Yeah. I like that. Uh, you like that. I like that. Nicole, our group loves that because yeah. we're big board gamers. But you may not like that. Is yeah. it worth 10 bucks? Yeah, a lot of board game implementation apps are about ten dollars. Yeah. Lords of Waterdeep is ten bucks. Yeah, you know, so it's definitely worth that if that's what you're looking for. And if you wanna, if this is something that you've never really tried before, I would recommend this. Once again, yeah, it's ten bucks, and also, you don't. It doesn't take that long to go through each turn. So oh, it's definitely you, made to be played over and over again. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about getting 45 minutes, an hour in, and then all of a sudden the carpet's just pulled out from under you. I think a winning game is like half an hour. Oh, yeah, totally. And that's, so the odds of you actually getting that... The farthest, Nicole, who's standing here watching us because she loves this game, uh, Hi, got to... What was it? Three turns to Mars. Three turn. Well, within three weeks of Mars, and that took her like twenty minutes, I yes. think. Yes, and so that was seven rounds that she yeah. managed to get through. That's the farthest I've seen anyone get. Yeah. And so it's, I like it. Justin likes it. Yeah. And now you've got an idea if this is for you. Yeah. All right, we will see you next time on another Dash of Salt first impressions, and uh, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you thought of this game if you have it already. Couldn't agree more.